So, I mean, the... Last night, the, I the, maybe got an hour. In, right. In your voice, you can hear the maliciousness. The f*** you is very, very... <laughs> You don't talk to people uh, like that. That's not like a common like, nope. hey Scott, f you. you. That's not that's not common. It's not something people do. And no one that sees that is gonna think that. Okay. So we were trying to give you an opportunity and and it is what it is. There's no maliciousness towards okay. that. So I would probably be telling myself that my that intent video. my intent was not for <coughs> that to happen. But you went upstairs and went to bed. Or maybe you passed my intent was not for him to end up dead. My intent was to punish, to get revenge. And that's clear. I don't know. Which Waiting happens. for him. And the whole time frame thing, it's like, it's regardless, that's not really fair. Regardless, waiting for him, you, it's not like you, you walked up the stairs, no one can, you can't fly up the stairs, no one can take you up their stairs. Okay. You go up the stairs, you lay in the know. bed, and you wait for him. Who cares if it's five minutes, who cares if it's 30 freaking seconds? He's begging for his life, he's begging to get out. You go upstairs. You leave them. It doesn't matter. So it could it get the time frame out of your mind. This whole matter. thing, this like it doesn't matter. It, it it doesn't matter because <coughs> there's this. So it doesn't matter anything what it is I say. So it it makes no difference whatsoever. It's just you keep you're lying and like you're not you're now changing Who's your story. Who's lying about what? You're, you're now 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 you're drunk. Okay. Oh, I never said that I was drunk. Exactly, but you did here today. That's okay. You said earlier. Everything's everything recorded. Alcohol. You blamed, on, you blamed it on the alcohol. You blamed it on the alcohol. Alcohol does a lot to people. Yes, but I never said I was drunk. Okay. <laughs> you did. So you did okay. this. No, you did this sober. You knowingly left them down there sober. Uh, I have already told both of you also that we were both drinking. Right. Okay. But you won't admit that you were drunk. Is that? I'm okay? telling you all both. This has changed my life. So, I will take this. I don't know. Yeah, that's a true statement. Absolutely. But you're trying to dance. Yes. Yes. And no matter what happens in court, at trial, yes, this has changed her life. Even if there wasn't all the media attention, yes, this has changed her life. But you know, this has changed the lives of everybody who loved Mr. Torres. And Mr. Torres doesn't get the chance to have a changed life. It's around the fact that <laughs> so, you So, but what are you, okay, just, just. You left them in there. You're trying to oh dance around gosh, the fact that is, you left them in there. This is not. I, you didn't leave them in there? Not, it's not cool. Like, this is not cool. It's not cool. That it, He's dead. It's but not cool. But you think that I did that intentionally. You think that I did that intentionally. You intentionally left him in there and left the room. You went upstairs to a different room. You intentionally did that. You you did. Yes. Because I'm thinking he's going to get out. Okay, and he didn't. Obviously not. When somebody's begging for their, begging, saying, I well, can't breathe. when you breathe. say that, though, but you have to, you <coughs> don't know, let me out. I can't Mel breathe. don't know George, though. Like, that, that, again, I thought it was the boy crying wolf. So it doesn't matter. Lack of consent is lack of consent. No matter what you want to believe, no matter what you actually believe, there was, he was not consenting to being in that suitcase, no matter how he got in there. Even if he crawled, even if it was his idea to go in there. Even if he crawled in there and said, hey, Sarah, zip me up. Ha ha, this is funny. The minute there is no longer consent, that's it. And she cannot, and nobody can, say, oh, well, he was crying wolf. I didn't really believe it. That's like in those essay cases where the guy says, well, she wanted me to. I didn't really believe her. No. No, it's not okay. And if there's a, even a question 
about lack of consent, or actually, let me rephrase that. If the consent to whatever activity is happening isn't obviously there, enthusiastically there, clearly, fully present, then you must, must err on the side of assuming that there is not consent. And I'm not talking about legally. I'm talking between two people. Because you never have the right to take away somebody's autonomy like that. And it's, this is driving me bananas because she has repeatedly said she wanted him to squirm. She wanted she wanted to punish him. She was angry. She wanted revenge. She knew that it was possible that he could lose his life, that he could suffocate. She said so. So all of this other stuff is just garbage. I don't know. Maybe that's why the detective is texting because, I mean, she's just going to lie and make make excuses and and say it's not fair and it's all about her no matter no matter what the facts are no matter what the evidence is it's all you have to understand i'm i'm ranting sorry she, she, this is just maddening just like what oh so if your son was in there and said i can't breathe are you going to open it or is is he nine so he's not you know really it's not a good deal i'm just a valid question Oh, you right. said you would never put your son in a suitcase. You would only put George in there. No, George got in a suitcase. And he well, zipped it up. And he wanted out. Not all the way and not intentionally to leave him there. But that's what happened. But you keep going away from I it. Don't that's, that's, I, that's I don't exactly know. That's exactly what happened. You I, went I, the bed, so I, the next Are bed. you all trying to have me admit that? Like, are you trying to have me admit that? Because I will never admit it because it's not mm -hmm. true. It's not true. I'm basically stating as a fact because that's what happened. Okay. You videotaped him asking to be let out. You go upstairs. So what, guys? So what? Like, just, I don't know what you want me to say other than it was not out of maliciousness or intentional. I don't know what or how I can say it. She keeps saying what it's not. She never says, and this is what it is, except for the times she slips. I love George. Love him. To this day, still. Love him. Love makes you do a crazy thing. It doesn't do, it's not one of those things where it's... Controlling someone is not love. Gaslighting is not love. Ignoring their no. Taking away their autonomy taking away their right to consent to something being done to them physically. That's not love. It's like, oh gosh, you know what? I've done enough for you at this point. I never gave up on him. Okay. Why I'm here today, I'm still not giving up on him. I would do anything for him. Well, you gave up checking up on him. So. I wouldn't let him out of the suitcase. Oh gosh, okay. We're simply just trying to go through, I mean, again, you gave us a completely different story that you churched up to, this was such a, a laughing matter. It was, it was, was fun. Not by that all video. All day, all not day. By that video, that part all day. Anybody looking at it, doesn't, I don't think anybody so, will look at that video and go, George is having fun right now. So why is it you all think that I, I, y'all don't know me, you don't know me? Nope would do something like that, especially having a nine-year-old son. I don't know like, why? A nine -year -old, nine -year -old son would be. Like, why? If having a child prevented you from ever doing anything bad, imagine how good the world would be, eh? This is more impression management, and it shows how many stereotypes she has in her head. Why are you so, why are you so like, caught on what we think? Yeah. When, because you should be more like concerned you, about what you've told us. It's because and like you guys are like trying the things that the video shows that are opposite of what you told us, and then what you've now like told what is opposite? Today. 
Well, you said that it was funny, and you're yeah. the only one laughing. We were playing before that. Okay. Before. Um, but then it stops. Yeah. It obviously stops being fun. Well, I... Because you're screaming at him. He's not going to get out. I'm screaming at him. Mm, sounds like screaming to me. I, I don't know what you all want to, me to tell you. In no way, shape, or form was this intentional. At all. Ever. Okay. Are you still going to allow us to do your fingernails? Go for it. Go for it. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to get that set up. <coughs> do you need any more water? No, but when you come back, can I ask about this? Mm. Yeah. So what? I just don't understand. So it was I don't understand how your story changes so much to the how fact that... How is it changing? Please help me explain. Understand. Well, you, you went on about how this was such a playful thing and you guys were laughing. And it probably was for a few minutes. But then it obviously changes. The whole demeanor of this whole situation completely changes. It's not the funny laughing matter. He's not laughing at all. I didn't think he was being serious. You absolutely sound serious. I didn't think so. Him. Like, I just... You don't think your voice... You sounded it's, serious? It's... Okay. I... I don't know what you want me to tell you. It was a great day. Okay. It didn't end well, obviously. I was going to say, that's... Uh, I mean... I can't explain to you. I can't explain to you how horrific it was Okay. to find him. Horrific. Because I don't remember taking those videos. Okay. How horrific. Yeah. I'm thinking he's in the bathroom. I'm thinking he's downstairs in the laptop. I can't find him. So maybe she really doesn't remember taking the video, but she does. She's not saying she doesn't remember doing those things. That's different. I didn't remember there was evidence on my phone that you might get me with. I didn't remember to delete the video. She still describes the things that took place in the video and explains those things. So she remembers doing the things that are, are really important, like flipping him around and deciding, yeah, well, I'll leave him in there a little longer and walking up the stairs and all of that. So she, it's not like she's having a total blackout that she doesn't remember any of it. She doesn't remember taking the video. So, what, so what's gonna happen? Like, Here's what gets me though, is you don't remember taking videos, you don't know where he is, you don't remember him being in the, in the suitcase, and you're still telling me that you had your wits about you. I How does someone have their you know, wits about them when See, that's the they thing, too. But stuff. you can clearly tell. You can clearly tell that I had been drinking some. Yeah. You can clearly tell. I had several people that came up to me in that apartment complex said that you were drunk on a daily basis. And oh, you my were gosh. At them right. Regularly. Right. Um, really? Right. Talk to the property really. manager. Talk to the property manager. Okay. Because it's not... These are your neighbors, the one that live next to you. Your property manager does not live next to you. They see you every day. How many... Oh you had gosh. two neighbors you went to and asked to go to the restroom. See, that is just not fair. No, hold on. You had two different neighbors that lived directly next to you. You asked to use the restroom, and they told you no and turned you away. You had to go oh. across the way to somebody oh. else. No, okay. Kim and Eli... Eli, or Kim is not a nice person. Okay. She's just automatically not nice. Even right. after me and Lucas went over there and introduced herself. It's not fair, again. She doesn't like anybody portraying her in a way she doesn't want to be portrayed, and therefore it's not fair. So she's just not a nice person. Then why would you think she would let you use a restroom? Because Eli was in there. Eli comes over and talks to us sometimes, which I... If somebody says something that she doesn't like, that they're not a nice person. So we should believe her. I think pisses Kim off because okay. he comes over and talks to us. The two of them, they're like super standoffish all the time. My neighbors down the street, down the way, 
Their toilet was broken. They had stuff in the bathroom. So then they're like, go over there and try over there. There's two bathrooms. I wouldn't let somebody go upstairs and use my my personal bathroom. That's what the downstairs one is for. If it's somebody you like, would you? Or somebody you knew? They're in the process of doing all this stuff in the kitchen. And they're stuck in the bathroom and the toilet doesn't work. Just walk across the way. No problem. Mm -hmm. And of course they let me in. Them and them, they're together. They're part, they're families. And nonetheless, if you really want to know, and I hope it doesn't get them in trouble, but he is over here illegally. So he's trying to work on getting his green card. What does that got to do with you using the restroom? They did. What a hmm, word I can't say. Wow. Oh, I'm just going to tell you something. I hope they don't get in trouble. So let me just tell you this thing that maybe they'll get in trouble for. Let me just tell the police that they're over here illegally because they said something I didn't like. They didn't want to be involved. No, no, no. I was asking last night because, you know, I mean, we had several different people Assuming in the neighborhood that come up saying Eli and Kim. drunk on a regular basis. Eli and Kim. Eli and Kim. Okay. Did you ask Eli. Minnie next door? Those are the ones next door that she asked to use the restroom, next and they door. said no. Okay. No, she said no. Okay. And like I said, she's not you a nice person. They're coming. What are okay. your questions? Yep. Let's can help you out. Who's coming? To do the fingernails? Yeah. You said that we could. <coughs> And you don't have to allow us to do it, just so you know. So don't so think that it's I don't have a problem. Hand. Okay. So make sure. <coughs> so am I getting my phone back? No. Not today. Um, what about Lucas's laptop? No. Not today. Not today. What does that mean? We're still going through everything. Oh, that's fine. You're the one just telling us there's videos that we need to see on it, so we That's need to fine. do our due diligence that we go through everything. See, and that backfires on me now, too, because now you all think that I had even more, in quotes, intent to do what I did then, which was not intentional. What's that? In that. Is that correct? She's asking about your tag in your hand. No, but I'm asking if that's correct. No, I'm not going to agree with anything that you're saying. I'm not that you're... No. So his probation <coughs> officer. Mm-hmm. Do you all inform her or do I need to call her? We don't need to. We don't have to inform her, so if you would like to call her, you can. Are you saying because he's still on probation? No, but because of the nice lady that she is and all that she's done for him, I thought, it, oh. I didn't know how it was. Legal. So he's not on probation, so she's his former probation officer. But Sarah wants to notify her? That's weird, man. I think she wants to call this nice lady who spent 42 minutes telling her how wonderful she was to talk to her. I think that's what's going on there. Really, we just have to tell his parents, and we don't go telling. We don't, Everybody else. I didn't even know who his probation officer was, so no, I wouldn't go tell So the same thing for classes. I need to do that, too. Um, classes? The to do what? substance abuse class and his <coughs> battery intervention. Yeah, so we don't have to 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 ask. So, other than this, so initially, what was the cause of that? She is still pending because she wants to... Other than this? And she's pointing to the, the computer where they just viewed that video. Other than this. Wow. Hold the body for an additional day to see if more of those bruises turn into something bigger. Um, and uh, she's doing some other tests that she's got to do. So she's pending it for now. So, and that couldn't have been because <coughs> of him being in the suitcase. Or that's y'all are saying she, that I physically what, did it. That's what she's determining. So the, the ones on the head, I, I asked her, could that have been from the suitcase? And she said she didn't think so. Hmm. I didn't touch him, nor did he touch me. Okay. I'm leaving it at that. Okay. Um, so, I don't... They seized a baseball bat, and I don't know what else they seized. And they'd asked Brian 
about a baseball bat. And I remember at the time thinking, because I didn't know that he had these injuries. I remember at the time thinking, hmm, there's something up with that. I don't know if you all know how to do this, because I, so that's what I was going to ask you, to ask you. So are you all updating his parents today or when you get final, whatever? What does it matter? Why? What we tell his parents, what do you mean? Because I, I, we're going to have, we're going to talk to with them. Yeah. Okay. I, mean, I have to. But tell, it's going like, to come down to me. What do you mean? Like, so it's being put on me. Who said that? But I'm not, so what is it you would tell them? <laughs> We're going to give them an update just like we gave you an update on their autopsy. Okay, so it's whatever bruise well, is Here's the thing. And here's the thing. Way around the head. We, we had to deliver news to them last night that their son was dead. There's not a whole lot of conversation that goes on after that. It's not a very easy thing. Was it to yesterday do. or Sunday? Sunday. Today's Tuesday, right? Did we not meet you yesterday? We met you yesterday. Yeah. I'm just asking. He's talking about what, or he's alluding to what it might be like for parents to hear that their son is dead and that it was an unnatural death and how that is and how what kind of turmoil that throws people into. This is a time for empathy. There's nothing. There's nothing. Her priority is whatever she decides in the moment. She can't even, she doesn't even stop and acknowledge the horror. The reason she's wanting to know about what they get told it's because it's going to reflect in some manner on her. It's not about any empathy for them. Right? Did we not meet yesterday? It's a valid question. Uh, really? Yes, on Monday. Okay. okay. Do you remember earlier she said, I didn't want him to be like that, and she was so upset and emphatic and she had this look of horror on her face. And I mentioned it at the time. I thought maybe he died the Sunday night and not the Monday morning and that she knew. And there was one other thing that made me think that, and of course I can't remember what it was. Now, though, I'm wondering again. I'm going to replay what she just said about Sunday versus Monday. It's not a very easy thing. Was it yesterday or Sunday? Sunday. Today's Tuesday, right? If he died on Sunday, and she knows that, everybody's going to be referring to Monday, but her brain is on Sunday. And that would make sense for her to get those days mixed up like that. I'm not saying I know. It's just got me thinking. Got it. Perfect. So I don't know if I ask you guys or how I find this out other than talking to his parents, which it's not going to happen. Yeah, probably a terrible idea. What, how do you guys suggest me finding out about funeral? Yeah. That's not even something that's been probably talked about. Why is she asking the police these questions? Any minute now, she's going to ask them to go pick up her dry cleaning. About between the family, that's not something we ask. We have no way of... I know. didn't know, that's why I'm asking. Yeah. So, it's going to be up to them to make their arrangements of what they want to do. Like She just told you this quick, just being told last night, I'll pretty much be willing to wager that they have not even considered what they're going to do. My <laughs> body can't even be released. No. So yes. I've been there with parents, grandparents, aunt and uncles. Um, so... I don't know if I have the right to or not, but like I was going to call his former employees whom he really cared for and let them know. You can call um, whoever you want. I just don't want to do something that I'm not supposed to. Um, how do I go about getting his um, wedding ring, engagement ring? It's at the medical examiner's office. It'll come to us eventually. And no, it'll, then be, it'll be released 
to the, oh, to to the next of kin. Yeah, okay. I bought it for him. Okay. That is a civil issue. It was on his finger, it goes to them, they're the ones that are going to release it. We don't have any say in that. So I won't get that back. So for all of this, like how do I find out what's what and how many, like what's been found? What do you mean? Uh, pillow with stain, swabs of stain from pillow, suitcase. That will all be sent off to FDLE, Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Yeah. They do their testing. So, and then like... So she's wanting all the information on all the test results. Well, I guess she'll get it all in discovery. Like whatever white can with blood and necktie with blood was from the suitcase. Okay. Why would you guys, oh, you'll see it in there, the baseball bat, for Lucas. And the feet. And this is just his phone, my phone, and then the laptop. Yeah, when anything can be released, we will release it, but we are very early in this investigation. And it's not so, an overnight process, unfortunately. So, what's next? They're going to come and swab their fingers. No, I'm talking about like in the long run. Like, what do I need to like, do I need to be doing something or like, I can't tell you like, no. what to do. I mean like so like. They can't tell her what to do, of course, right? That's what you get a lawyer for. That's what you ask a lawyer. Like for, like, I don't understand. Like, I don't know if you guys are just going to like. Because it makes it sound like to me, like, I'm being accused of something that was not intentional. I'm being accused of it. Mm -hmm. And a handful of other things that I'm being accused of. Okay. So I don't want to be at home with Lucas and you guys show up. Okay. Fair. So. It's, er, we're still investigating. We're, I don't know what you want me to tell you. So. Is there going to be concrete whatever it is, and then it's like, okay, this is what it is kind of thing? Or like, because I've done the whole court thing. I've done the whole attorney thing. I've done whatever. So if I'm not admitting. She said, I've done the whole attorney thing. Does that mean she spoke with an attorney, I wonder? Anything about being intentional and I killed George. Okay. That's not the situation, but it's trying to depend on me. Okay. That was not my intent. But it's trying to depend on me. So however or whatever it is I need to do in order for that to be proven, then I need to do so, which is why I'm trying to get my ducks in a row. Okay. So that's why I'm asking what the next step is other than me getting my nails swabbed. I mean, you want me to tell you how to not be accused of a crime? Is that what you're asking? Like, I don't know what you I'm want. trying to prepare myself for whatever may need to be done so I can, I, I guess, I stick up for myself. I mean, I think you're doing just fine. You came. Lawyer. I just don't want you guys to, again, show up and Lucas is in the house. Well, we did tell you yesterday that we don't want to do anything around your son, hence why you came to us. So I don't know why you think that's going to change. That and or me not just show up back home. <coughs> I'm sorry, what? That or what? Me just not show up back home. She's cluing in. That's what, oh, he's so happy that I'm staying over at the house with Brian. Like, so happy. And I'm not going back to the house, to my house, for however long I can stay over here because of whatever to blow over. Mm -hmm. And again, if you don't mind me asking, so for whatever it is you all are claiming from the videos, which, yeah, it's, is that what you're going to tell them? Like his parents? It's like, oh yeah, and by the way, she did. Did what? I mean, what would you tell them? Why does she think that she has any right to know what detectives are going to tell the victim's parents? Wow.
really matters what we're going to tell the parents. Oh yeah, it is. It's fuel to the fire. Well, we can't hide things, and I don't know. I, I'm not saying we're going to go. <clears throat> I'm not saying that we're going to go and tell them every single thing we have, um, but again, this is the Orange County Sheriff's Office that's public record, so eventually, like, this all will come out. Mm -hmm. So, it like, I'm not, yeah, you're making it sound like we're going to tell them something, so then your life is in danger, and I don't like that accusation. No. So, let's just nip that in the butt right now. Well, that's what's going to happen. I cannot, but I cannot choose, we but we can't even, but so <coughs> technically there's no. She wants to control what the detectives tell the victim's parents. The key word is control. And when that isn't offered freely, she uses something. She uses the potential of victimization and a negative characterization and a negative characterization of the family to put the officers in a position. She knows she's doing that. She needs control. She, You know what? She's going to be a nightmare to work with for whatever law firm gets her. No concrete report yet, even. Right. So, so it's, um, you want me to like, I'm tell you exactly what I'm going to tell them. I don't know what I'm going to tell them. I don't know what I'm going to tell them. Let's just leave it at that. Just like, you don't know why you went upstairs. I don't know what I'm going to tell them. So, can, that are dealing with, can uh, I do, can I call you the way that I did last time? Yeah, my phone is an open line. Missy should be here. I don't know what she's doing. I get it. Look, I get it. That looks really bad. Mm -hmm. So that's what scares me. Like, what do I need to plan on? Like, what do I need to plan on? I promise you, on my son's life, it was not intentional. I promise you, okay. on Lucas's life, it was not intentional. <laughs> I don't know you. I can't say I know anything about you. I don't know what is what would be a true statement. Of it. This is an opportunity. It's the first time she's taking any amount of responsibility. But what she needs is for somebody to say, you know what? I understand. That, that you're not a horrible person. I understand that you didn't intend this outcome. That's different from saying, I didn't intend to leave him. I didn't intend to all, all those things. She, she intended all those things. And, and she knew, and I'm not going to repeat all that. But here's the opportunity to extend a little bit of compassion and maybe, you know, pull that door open ju just a little bit to see if the accused and the investigator can work together to find a path to provide some answers, to provide an end to this, to provide an opening for the accused to save some face, offer an explanation. I haven't seen this before, so we'll see what she does with it. But not, I mean, if you're promising on your son's life, that's fine. That's how much it means. Sorry. That's how much it, look, that's how much it means. Okay. I hope you take that to heart, please. And it's documented that you said that, yeah. I get it. I guess not. Do you have any idea when I can get my phone back? No telling. What do you say? I just said no telling. I mean, it's, our digital forensics unit has uh, got a lot of cases on their plate. I mean, 
Well, and that's not Lucas technically my on. laptop. It's Lucas's laptop. Okay. But he plays. You'll see all the games that he has on there. As soon as we can get that back to Lucas, we will. As soon as we can release your phone, we will. But doesn't. We have no way of being able to tell you because we don't have control over their caseload and how they, they arrange what they do. So I don't know. And at this point, I think, honestly, with everything else that's going on, that should probably be, be at the bottom of your list of worries. I'm trying to make Lucas happy so he can have his laptop back. Okay. okay. Did yeah. Brian not have a laptop for him? He has his laptop that he has to do for work. But he doesn't want him using it or breaking or dropping. It's not a big deal. There's nothing on the laptop anyway. They've already decided what they're doing. They're going to wait for forensics. So you will keep me posted, like updated. Uh, yeah, she's going to jail today. That's my thing, is I'm trying to figure out what I need to do in the meantime. I don't know, I can't, like, I don't know what to tell you, though. Like, what am I, what? But you all have more information than I do, where it's, <coughs> yeah, you might want to, or yeah, you might want to. <laughs> Like, we have more information on what? Wow. She she wants the detectives to explain to her what she should use as her defense. Oh, you might want to do this. We have this information in the investigation, so maybe you should, you know, do this. That's like phoning the police and saying, can you come and help me clean up this crime scene or give me advice on how to destroy the evidence? Like, we told you everything that we have. You know everything that we know. And most of it we got from you. But that, like I was telling her, like, yeah, that's bad. Like, which I swore in my son's life was unintentional. So that's why I'm trying to figure out what I need to do for myself. Okay going forward with this, nonetheless, with his family. And are you all just showing up with Lucas in the house? Well, I think we've already both told you that we would be mindful of any situations. So you guys, I guess you're going to call me tomorrow? Or do we need to come back down here? I'll chat with you next time. Next time. I have no idea when I'm going to call you next. Uh, isn't the report coming out tomorrow? No. What report? I'm just saying a report is generated through us, and the sheriff's office is a public entity. So if someone were to come request something, then... No, I'm talking about um, his autopsy. She's waiting and doing more follow-up, but... She's looking at him again. <coughs> yeah. But she won't be finished with him because she's, she's pending for other stuff. So after this, what? I'm done? For now? <laughs> He's in the corner. Yeah, you're done. How long does this stuff take to get back? The Most of that you, you won't get back. The swabs and stuff will, will stay. They all know about it? Sorry. Our dispatch center keeps calling my phone, and I keep having to have other people call them to see what they need. I hope you all can really both truly understand that that was not my intent. I miss him a lot. I mean, no I, but my question 
has remained the same. What do you expect to happen to somebody when you leave them in a position like that? <coughs> Yes, but you have to understand too. I know. No, no. Just what would you expect to happen to somebody when you leave them in a position? I have no idea because I've never done it before. Why have you never done it before? Why would I? Exactly. Why, Why would I do you? it before? Why did you do it now? I, I, I clearly have said why. I, why? No, you don't know never, why. You, never, you just know that it's not intentional, yeah. but you don't know why. But that's okay. Really? I'm not trying to force you to say something that you don't know. <coughs> it's feeding and penning. The fact that you guys would assume that I'm that kind of person. I'm not assuming anything. We're going by the facts. It happened. Like you said, you don't know me. What time is it, please? Four forty six. In itself, for me to have to live with getting him out and doing what I did is punishment enough. I think that's why I haven't slept. Because that's all I see. So that right there says something. Not my intention. <coughs> no, he's coughing. <coughs> Nonetheless, I have to live without him now. Nonetheless. Punishment itself. Oh. Nonetheless, I, and that's enough punishment. What about his family? That man had children. What about them? They're being punished. They didn't do anything wrong. They have to suffer forever without him. Well, yeah, a tragic situation. I am through with alcohol. And it's unfortunate that stupid things like this happen. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Absolutely. Unfortunate? It's, this wasn't bad luck. This was a series of decisions, a series of abusive and dangerous decisions that resulted in a man's death. It's not unfortunate. And it's not stupid things happen. It's not something that just happened. Like, you know, I got a flat tire. It rained. Just holy minimization. Nonetheless, I have to live without him now. Mm -hmm. yeah, his daughters, too. Are you trying to make it worse? Sorry, what? Are you trying to make it worse? Make what worse? <laughs> How I feel. Uh, All right, am I watching a Monty Python script?
Wow. He's expressing some sympathy for all of the people who lost Mr. Torres. Not only can she not recognize that or, or share in that, she twists it around. Is it's all about her? And if she doesn't feel good, it, it must be it must be his fault. I mean, CSI that was there yesterday, and then she took your photos. I'm surprised they didn't do this before, like the day of. yesterday on the on the audio recording I just forgot so he raised his hand to remind me to tell you okay do you promise and swear that everything we talked about today has been true and accurate to the best of your knowledge for which true everything. and accurate to the best of your knowledge what that it wasn't intentional everything for which thing and did you tell the truth uh, what do you mean and look at her body language she's closed right up because they've just told her she's not free to go i i'm not sure if she's really processed that yet and you've said today everything that's come out of your mouth has been true and accurate to the best of your knowledge to the best of my knowledge correct why is there a pause when she's asked if she told the truth the answer is yes or it ought to be is there a question is there a question in her mind as to whether or not she told the truth? Yes. Why? That's how you talk to somebody. Why? Want to assure that everything that we've talked about is true and accurate to, to the, best the best of that of person's knowledge. knowledge. It's not a trick question. To the best of my knowledge. To the best of your knowledge. Everything that you've told us today is true and accurate to the best of your knowledge. Yes, but it was not intentional. Okay. Okay. All right, do me a favor, stand up. <coughs> I need you to turn around, face the wall, put your hands behind your back. Do you have anything in your pockets that I should know about? No. Okay. Why is this happening? Because George is dead. Not intentionally. We understand that. He's still dead. Well, we don't Someone really needs to call that. Brian, please. Okay. Or can I not make a phone call? <coughs> You'll be able to make a phone call. When we get you down to the jail. So why is this So this was a trick. No, it's not no, a trick. How was a trick? It actually wasn't a trick. If they wanted to get her down to the station on a pretext and then arrest her, they could have done that. They would have done that. She would have been arrested right off the hop. They gave her an opportunity to explain. They gave her every opportunity, every opening to provide a defense or s some reason why he had the injuries he had, some reason for why she left him there. Maybe there was a defense. Maybe there was a reason. But she didn't take any of those opportunities. Or she insisted that her story is her story until she, until she changes it. So it's not, it's not a trick. If she hadn't done anything wrong, if there were reasonable explanations for everything, she could have simply said so. I have you to explain a few things to us. Uh -huh. and you were right, you're right. Your response to everything was basically, I didn't do it. Intentionally. It doesn't matter, you're still there. Me a favor. Have a seat. <coughs> really, guys? Really? 
so if I didn't show up? Why is it happening? Because before y'all said I could leave, when that I was done after yeah. this. After that, we were done. Yes, we were done. Absolutely. So now, so that's what it is. We are done. Right. Not intentional. Okay. So what am I supposed to do now? You will. Someone needs to call Brian. Okay. Lucas is waiting for mom to come home. This was not my intention. I thought I was waiting for you all to come and figure out what's what and how many. That's what we're trying to do. And I was going to be able to go home and see Lucas. <coughs> now he's just not going to have me come home. So there's nothing that I can do. I don't know. There's nothing that I can do in order to go home and see Lucas and prepare. Not right now, no. You'll be afforded a time in court. You'll be afforded an attorney. You'll be afforded a chance to talk to a judge, and all that stuff will be worked out. But what's the time frame for that, though? I, I have no way of being able to tell you. You should make first appearance probably by tomorrow morning, if not tonight, depending how things are busy, how quickly you get down there. I don't. I, had a I don't work in there. This is going to happen, okay. and I need water like really bad, please. How she? She needs water really bad. If you notice, she's been drinking water the whole time. But all of a sudden, she needs it, and it's really bad. Just the same way she really needed a drink at the time of the crime. You all check me down here. <coughs> Absolutely did not. I just got those. Okay. They are not allowed in the jail. So I can't even smoke cigarettes if I go. What? Am I good on that? And what am I supposed to do with my car? Can you find where it is? When you get down there, you'll have three phones, you'll be able to call. What, as soon as possible? Yeah, once you get down in there, get booked in, you'll be able to uh, use a phone in the, in the waiting area. But how area. long will that take? Because I need to talk to Brian. Yeah. You know, it depends how busy, how quickly they get you through. I'd probably say within the hour. It's a free phone yeah. call yeah. In, the, in the lobby. It's a free phone call. All I'm doing is bringing you there. So yep. I'm just she has no clue. So can I ask you, or whoever it is, mm -hmm. um, those holding cells, the holding cells, Mm -hmm. Am I going to be putting one of those? Because I don't know. Last time I had a panic attack. Okay. Let them know that. Yeah. I don't know. Well, you, you're familiar with the big bay. As long as you go in and you act civil to them, they'll set you in the big bay. And you'll be left there and for Can you a while. request that while I'm there? No, that's not up to us. Mm -hmm. We don't work at the jail. As long as, as, long as what he's saying is you, if you don't if act you go up, in and act like this, you'll go in and they'll put you in the big bay. If you go in there screaming and kicking and yelling and Why cursing at people, that? I don't know. I'm just letting you know that's what happens. That's how they, they weed people out. If you go in acting like this. So I ask for the big bang? They'll put you there as long as you're acting like this. I, yeah, because the last time I had a major panic attack on those little things. Hey, let me know. Change yep. the code. Go stand up. I have not found So what am I going to do with my purse? Oh, sorry. Your purse is going to come, but the cigarettes and stuff can't, so. I put, in, I put the lock up to my bag. Oh, no, it's all good. Mine are now opposite, so. What made you all decide to do this? Made us decide to do this? The um, evidence? That. You guys, I knew this was going to happen. You did? Okay. So I came well, down here willingly. Yes, absolutely. We were trying to figure out what's going on. We're still trying to figure out what's going on. Unintentionally. I think she feels betrayed in a way. Hey, I came down here willingly. I did this for you. But the evidence is the evidence. And it's not like if she didn't come down that they wouldn't have arrested her. It means she's not getting picked up at home or in front of her son or in front of her neighbors. Trust or not, George is dead. <laughs> You act like when you say unintentionally, that absolves you from everything. 
I need to get, I have my, I don't know if it's and able to be or not. I have things in my car that I need to. What kind of stuff do you have in your car that you're worried about? Well, I have my medication. Okay, they have a pharmacy there, so if there's something that you have to have right away, you'll be seeing a nurse. It's panic attack stuff. Well, again, when you get checked in, you're going to be seeing a nurse. And that they have a pharmacy there, so they'll be able to take care of any kind of that stuff. That protocol is out of my realm. I don't work down there, so I don't know, but I do know they do have a pharmacy and that you will be afforded to see somebody. Well, that's the end of the series on the Sarah Boone interrogations. Thank you for watching with me.